Hi, I'm Thomas, and I'm a sex researcher. Whether you hear about it or not, rates of HIV are continuing to climb in the US. There's a lot of different reasons that people don't get tested for HIV. One might be talking to their doctor. They may not have a doctor to talk to, or they may not feel comfortable bringing it up. They may not even view themselves as someone that could be at risk for HIV. It's estimated that one out of five people that are HIV positive don't know their status. But if you don't want to go to the doctor, you can still get tested. You can get tested from home, and I'm going to show you how. There are a few different ways that you can be tested for HIV. If it's a virus test, well, they're checking for the actual HIV virus, but any antibody test means they're checking for the antibodies, which may take up to three months to be detectable. This period of time between when someone might be infected with the virus and when the antibodies are detectable is called the window period. For example, if you're receiving an HIV antibodies test with a 90-day window period on May 1st, the test may only be able to detect if you've been infected before February 1st, so approximately 90 days. The window period can be very different based on what test is being used. This is a rapid at-home HIV test kit called OraQuick. I bought it off Amazon for 35 bucks, but you can purchase them at most pharmacies without being 18 and without having to show an ID. This is an antibody test, and it's very similar, if not identical, to the same test you would be given if you were to go to a community health agency or go see your doctor to get tested. When you go to buy this, there's a couple things you're going to want to look for. The first thing, the expiration date. Now with this particular one, I already know that the expiration date is on the bottom. Here it reads March 31st, 2020. If you were to use one where the expiration date has already passed, you may not be able to trust the results. You could receive a false positive or a false negative. Along with the expiration date, you're going to want to look at the back for the window period. This particular test says three months. So let's pop open the box and see what's inside. So here's the kit, all in one little box. You open it up and the first thing you're gonna see are the testing directions. Right under the directions is a drawer. You're gonna go ahead and pull it out and inside you're gonna find a few things. One of them is going to be a solution and the other one is going to be a paddle. You're going to wanna to look for the expiration date. Here it is in the top left corner. You wanna be careful with the solution. There's very little in the container and if you were to spill it, you wouldn't be able to do the test. Now after you've opened the bag containing the paddle, you're going to want to be very careful taking it out. Only touch the plastic end, not the hard cotton tip. On the plastic end, you're going to try and only hold the sides, but try not to drop it. When you look at the plastic, you'll notice there is a T and a C. This is how your results are displayed. The C stands for control, and a red line here indicates that the test is working. The T stands for test, and a red line here indicates that HIV antibodies have been detected. To do the actual test, you're going to take the cotton tip and run it along the top and bottoms of your gums. The goal here is to collect cells, not blood. So press firmly, but don't hurt yourself. You're gonna take the paddle and place it inside the solution. And that's it. Now we've got 20 minutes to wait. Okay, it's been 20 minutes and the results are ready. You see there is a red line here at C for control, so we know the test worked. And here's the T, which doesn't have a red line and means that no HIV antibodies were detected. Again, remember the window period. This means that as of 90 days ago, there was likely no virus. There is a red line, it means the antibodies were detected and what you need to do is go for confirmatory testing. This generally consists of your doctor drawing blood and then testing that blood for the HIV virus. At that point, they will confirm your HIV status and connect you to HIV care. The earlier you know your status, the better. The CDC recommends that sexually active adults get tested once per year. Most people who find out their status early are able to manage their health with as little as one pill a day. And the life expectancy for someone who's HIV positive is just as long as someone who's HIV negative. Testing positive is not a death sentence. It just means you might have to work a little bit harder at staying healthy. If you test positive, make sure you start your medication right away. Proper adherence is the only way to ensure you will be virally suppressed. I've given HIV results to a lot of people. I've given negative results to people who thought that they would be positive, and positive results to people who thought they would be negative. You never know how people are going to react, and whatever reaction you have is totally fine. If you're to test positive, know that there's a lot of support out there for you, both online and in person. There's still a lot of stigma around HIV, but don't let the stigma stop you from taking care of yourself.
If you'd like more information about HIV, AIDS, and getting tested, check out the links below. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. I've got a lot of content in production and I don't want you to miss out. So go ahead and click that subscribe button. In the meantime, check out one of these other videos. And don't forget to send me your questions about sex. Thomas talks about at gmail.com. Did you hear the bells were ringing? Or did you hear the sirens in the sky?